What's up guys? My name's Spencer and welcome back to Raw Food Education. Alright, so I'm sure you've seen some of my videos about juicing and juice fasting here on my channel. So I wanted to make a video about how to make a green juice. Today I'm going to be making a green juice. This is going to be my breakfast. Um, it's about 1 o'clock here and this is going to be my first meal of the day so let's jump right into it and I'll go ahead and show you the different uh, parts of making a green juice. So first off you want to choose a fruit or a vegetable that you can use for the base of the juice. Um, so for example you could use cucumbers, celery, or maybe apples. And you know I like doing a combination of all three of these even. Um, you know just do whatever you like best or what you're looking for in that juice. Celery is really good for the digestive system and cucumber is really cooling and hydrating and alkalizing and if you're looking for more sweetness maybe you want to do more apples in your juice. So next we're going to be adding the green aspect of the juice. So this could be something like lettuce. Here I have romaine lettuce. Um, here's some arugula you could use. Uh, maybe you like kale, spinach, Swiss chard, and all of these greens are full of vitamins and minerals and you know when you're able to juice them you can get so much more of these amazing benefits from these foods because you're able to um, easily digest them and you can eat so much more like you could eat all of these greens just in one juice I mean think about how long it would take you to actually chew these down so it's really efficient in getting the greens into your body. And so what I like to add next, I usually like to add one type of herb to my juice. So here I have dandelion greens, parsley, and cilantro. And so those are my three favorite herbs to use. Um, you can use whatever herbs you like best or it depends on what you're looking for in the juice. So dandelion greens, are really strong and bitter but they're really good for detoxifying and healing and regenerating the liver. Um, you know parsley is also really good for the kidneys and liver and cilantro is extremely beneficial for the brain and blood. Um, so like I said um, you know it really depends on what you're looking for in your juice. I like to get a mix of all types of three of these in most of my juices and those are the three main herbs that I use in my juices personally. And so the next thing I always like to add in all my green juices is some type of citrus. So maybe lemon or lime because citrus fruits like lemon and lime are extremely astringent and powerful detoxifiers and alkalizers and they're really good at pulling and breaking up mucus in the body. And because of the diets most of us have been eating most of our lives, we have a lot of excess mucus and toxins that uh, lime and lemons can really help pull out of the body. And the next thing I personally like to add to all my green juices is either ginger or turmeric. And both of these are herbs that have been used for centuries and they're known to have great healing properties. Um, you know, ginger is great for digestion, and both of these, ginger and turmeric, are great for reducing inflammation in the body. Um, so I always like to add both of these to all my juices. So that's pretty much the basics on how to make a green juice. You know, you want to have a fruit or vegetable for the base, um, some type of green leafy vegetable uh, for the green part, and then your favorite herb or whatever type of herb you're looking for that day, and some type of you know citrus for an, an extra astringent factor and then maybe some ginger or turmeric and so that's the basics on how to do it you know feel free to switch it up and try whatever you like best um, that's usually what I like to do I just like to throw stuff together and make new recipes all the time um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a juice today I'll show you guys how I do that and then Afterwards, I'll tell you what I threw into the juice and maybe you can try that recipe for yourself. So also, if you're interested in learning more about juice fasting and the incredible benefits you can experience, be sure to check out my ebook uh, that are released this summer at rawfoodeducation.com. You know, it has step-by-step -step guidance on how to do a juice fast, 
Um, it has juice recipes, it has the tremendous benefits that you can experience from juice fasting, and it really gives you some guidance on where to get started if you're interested in transforming your health and just regaining your vitality that you deserve because I personally have done two extended juice fasts in the past and have experienced incredible benefits and I just want to share that um, with others and teach them how they can experience these benefits for themselves and transform their health. So there you go guys, that's how easy it is to make a delicious, nutritious, alkalizing, hydrating, green juice. Oh man, it's so good. So for this one, I used celery, apple, romaine lettuce, I ended up using cilantro, parsley, and dandelion greens, lemon, and uh, ginger and turmeric. And usually I don't add that many types of ingredients in one juice recipe, but I had all those herbs and I knew I needed to use them today, so I decided to just go ahead and juice them all. Um, so I really hope this video gives you an idea on how easy and simple it is to make green juices and hopefully you'll give, uh, give it a try and come up with your own recipes. And if you're interested in juice fasting, be sure to check out my ebook that I just released this summer. Also I have a lot of uh, juice fasting videos and juice videos here on the channel, so be sure to check those out. And if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you later.